सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वी आर ऑन डे फोर ऑफ द राइड इट इज ऑलमोस्ट नाइन ए एम एंड अभिनव एंड मी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ आइटनरी वी शुड फॉलो फॉर द नेक्स्ट फोर और फाइव डेज डेट वी हैव एट हैंड और ओरिजिनल प्लान वॉज टू ट्रेवल टू हानले डायरेक्टली गो टू उमलिंगला विजिट अ प्लेस कॉल क्यूल डू द एल ए सी रोड एंड देन कम बैक टू मनाली बट नाउ वी हैव Uh, decided to take a route that also covers the Chumur village, which is also one of the last few villages alongside the China border. So we'll have to, I think, improvise on the way. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. while we were initially thinking that we can take a rest day today at Leh because we have a very comfortable stay here after three days of hardships that we have dealt with. <laughs> what hardship? Yeah, no hardship. <laughs> But I think uh, what we have decided is we'll just have breakfast. and head out and ride maybe till a minimum till chumchang Chum because considering we are late we have you know unpacked all the luggage yesterday packing will take time it will easily take an hour getting the bikes ready and ideally i wanted to get the bikes washed at least my bike washed because the chain is very dirty i have to clean it before lubing it my but bike has a shaft yeah he um, has a shaft driven bike so he doesn't worry about that just because of the convenience of the shaft hmm I okay. I'll I'll I won't get a nine hundred ever. Bara soi chalao. Chai ho GS ho chai ho ye ho. So the issue is that we are facing is that today there is a off in Leh. All the shops are closed, and I don't think we'll be able to get the bikes washed. Let's get some breakfast and then get our stuff packed. Yeah. So guys, Jasmine is going to try a strong black coffee for the first time. No sugar. चारकोल लग रही है भाई पीले पीले ठीक है कड़वी है बहुत पर इट्स एन अक्वायर्ड टेस्ट हां ए फ्यू मोमेंट्स लेटर सो बेसिकली आफ्टर द लंच दैट वी हैड आई वाज फीलिंग स्लीपी आई हैव फेल्ट स्लेप्ट फॉर सम टाइम एंड शाम को आई गॉट टू नो दैट सम शॉप्स वर ओपन Uh, to get the bike washed but fortunately just across the road opposite to our hotel the mahi retreat hotel that we are staying we found a shop which was actually closed but he agreed to wash our bikes yeah it's a bike rental hmm. uh, they have a lot of motorcycles that you can rent from here himalayans etc they have their own bike wash area and they were generous enough to offer us bike wash facilities so we got talking with them and we tried to decide on you know what would be the best approach for the itinerary that we have in our mind mm. and uh, we came up with a completely different itinerary in fact when we started this video today we were actually planning to go to chumathang today to kind of cover a partial distance to hanle okay so i'm going to tell you a little bit about the itinerary that we have planned now so if jasmin brings the camera to us We are right now in Leh. We will go all the way to Pangong through uh, Changla Pass. At Tangs, we'll, we'll first fuel up at Karu, then uh, which is about thirty-seven kilometers from yep, Leh, right? Thirty-seven. Then we are gonna fuel up at Tangse again, um, and then we're gonna go to uh, Merak. This is a uh, one of the villages along the Pangong Lake. It's not very populated, so it's. easy to get to and you know it's it's along the lake so it's it's nice you can just walk up to the lake very easily spend time there beautiful i've done it last year it's absolutely beautiful now this is where we spend tomorrow night uh then the next night we start from merak we go via chushul and uh, we will uh, drive down along the lac through rezangla etc beautiful off road stretch and then it gets into some really good roads and then uh, through the loma bridge over here we going to take a left turn and we will continue down towards hanle now sorry i did not mention one thing uh, it was 179 kilometers from le to pangong uh, the drive the right from pangong to hanle is 143 kilometers we will spend a night at 
hardly and just uh, take a look at the night sky etc now the day after that what we plan to do is from uh, hanle we will go to umlingla now i've not put umlingla over here because you know there is no route on google maps that takes you to umlingla so we will uh, go to umlingla which is another i maybe about 60 65 kilometers hanle to umlingla is about uh, 80 odd kilometers 80 odd kilometers okay and then we are going to descend down to demchok which is like the last village last area along the uh, china border and then that very same day we will come back all the way to nyoma like again you know you uh, ride along the lac uh, get to a place called dungti and then you know loma bridge and then uh, you carry on and you get to nyoma so we spend a night in nyoma then and the day after that and this would be another 125 so 90 plus 125 about 220 odd kilometers we'd be doing on that day now the day after that is a slightly longish ride from nyoma we'll go to sokar and then from sokar we will get to uh, the le manali highway we'll get on the highway at more plains and we'll start driving that uh, driving back we'll cross nakila we'll cross bara lachla uh, and uh, lachungla yeah. and then three high mountain passes and then drive all the way ride all the way down to about uh, jispa now this is going to be a slightly longish ride it's about 300 kilometers but we'll be fine so our backup vehicle will support us till nyoma i'm sorry it will support us till nyoma from here we will fuel up our vehicles again 20 20 liters we have 70 liters of extra fuel apart from what we'd be filling up at tangse so this is where we get 20 20 additional liters our bikes will easily do 300 kilometers we are pretty sure about that by jispa when we get to jispa we'll just go all the way we'll spend a night over here and then you know we'll fuel up at tandi and then uh, if we spend a night at jispa then you know jispa to Kullu is not very far. Where uh, the actual place is Kayas, where Jasmine's house is. So it's only a ride of one thirty-four kilometers, and we are back home. So Jasmine's ride ends there, and uh, that will then, be Monday. That will that'll be, be a Monday. Monday yeah. yeah. So eleventh. I have 11th another September. six days. So then I have to decide whether I'm gonna go home to Delhi. Or if I have it in me, I might just do Spiti as well. Thing and one important thing was there are around three ways of reaching Omlingla from Hanle. Three yeah. routes. Oh, by the way, we must show them the full map also. Yep. This is what we are doing. So, Le, Hanle, sorry, Le, Pangong, uh, then Hanle over here, Demchok over here, Nyoma over here. Um, you've got uh, Jispa over here and then back to uh, Kullu mm-hmm. so this is about 900 about 1000 kilometers really the, yeah 1000 kilometers over the next 4 days so 1000 kilometers is the phase 2 of our ride yeah that looks good huh 1000 kilometers in the phase 2 of the ride after doing zanskar this yeah. has me excited yeah hopefully everything turns out to be fine these are some grand plans we have made Until over <laughs> take take a, take another day or two and let's do uh, manali kaza and back that as a good up i mean i will be drained out i am pretty sure i do not have it in me to do this sort of again i mean the manali kaza highway is obviously again pure off road i don't want yeah, to do it yeah, so i'll yeah. be i'll be done with off roading by that time pretty sure after 1000 km this is what eastern ladakh right yeah this is eastern ladakh we'd be riding along mm. the lac amazing so i think after this we'll be we will be you know done with this is the last a lot of boxes of yeah this is the last, last ride, ride of the year ab nahi hogi no more long rides chutti nahi lagegi we have also hired a bolero camper hmm. uh, just because you know uh, i have a 6 liter desert fox fuel uh, bag but that won't be enough we calculated for this entire trip that we are planning to do we need 70 at least 70 additional liters of fuel so we've hired a bolero camper 70 liters of fuel. 70 <laughs> liters of fuel in addition to what we are already what we already have in our bikes so in addition to what we will we'll be doing after 
completely filling up the bikes at Karu, which is 37 yeah, kilometers yeah, yeah. from yeah, Gray yeah, itself. Yeah. So, so we need about 70 liters of fuel. So we've just decided to take a Bolero camper. Hmm. The fuel will be in the camper. We'll just throw all our, we'll dump all our luggage in the camper. And then, you know, if something goes wrong, I hope nothing will. But if something goes wrong, we have backup. We can backup put one well, of the yeah. bikes in the truck and then, you know, it'll bring us back to safety. And safety is something that we would not like to compromise on. Yes, you pay a little bit extra. We've taken a camper for four days, right? Yeah, four days and they're going to charge us, what, 20,000 20, rupees. rupees? Which is okay, split between two people, 10,000 rupees extra. But then you have that layer of security. Hmm. You, it doesn't weigh on your mind then. Exactly. That, you know, I have to be extra, super extra careful, hmm. manage fuel. You don't have to buy uh, local fuel, which would probably have kerosene mixed in it. Hmm. If you uh, ruin an injector or if the fuel pump goes off, what are you going to do over here? You can't, right? Absolutely. Why, why, why? Specifically with, with bikes like, like ours, right? Which are... Yeah, these yeah, are expensive, very expensive motorcycles, motorcycles, right? Because repairs yeah. would be expensive. Hmm. Why take the risk? So that is the whole itinerary. Um, I think all the plans are set. Uh, it's almost 10 p.m. right now. We plan to start tomorrow around 10 because the ride from... Uh, Lay to Pangong is not that long, 160, 170 kilometers. So even if we start at 10, I think we should be reaching Mirak by 5 p.m. maximum. Yeah, yeah, Assuming we are taking a lot of time to take pics and also enjoy some food at the cafe, which is at the top of Chang uh, Changla Pass, 17,000. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, thukpa. Kya bolte hai? Thukpa. Thukpa. Bahut badiya milta hai. And that's a very uh, famous cafe. Okay, let's do that. And it's a it has a very beautiful airy washroom. <laughs> I'd like to you know I'd like to start airy washroom <laughs> Dimox right away. Yeah, uh -huh, that is also important. We should do that because now the only apprehension I have right now is all these areas are at a I think a fourteen thousand plus altitude. Yeah, yeah. So the next four days, uh, 14,000, 16,000, 19,000. Yeah, that's what we'd be doing. So I think we'll need to be on a constant. Uh, dosage of Dimox twice a day. At least till we do Umlingla and come back to Hanoi. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think by that time our bodies will be used to the shock of high altitude. I yeah? think we. I think our bodies are already acclimatized. But hmm. now that we've spent two days in Leh, hmm. um, I don't know. Nineteen thousand. I have no experience. Right? Yeah, nineteen thousand so is know. not not a joke. It's considering a, it's high, what it's we higher than the Everest yeah, base camp. Yeah, considering what we experienced at Shinkula. I have my doubts. But kafi logon ko we have seen doing it, right? Yeah, every, yeah, of course, of uh, course. See, every Tom, Dick and Harry is doing Umlingla these my, days. My, so hopefully ho jayega. And I think the dress day today that we have taken. It really helped. I'm it telling really you it helped. will have we a very good effect. We are uh, completely rejuvenated. And yeah, I mean, it just feels like a fresh ride now, right? I'm again having that excitement of getting yeah, on the yeah, bike I'm tomorrow. I'm excited to this time. Because today, it was kind of lazing off and spending time on Instagram. Yeah, man. So, like kept scrolling reels. Yeah. So Shame, shame on us. Cool then. We'll uh, close this off and we'll see you on the ride tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Here is the tank. Uh, this is being tied up so that it remains stable. And this camper will also hold our dirt sack core 30 bags because we just don't want to carry them right now. What is the beach in the left? Left में पानी के ऊपर एक स्ट्रिप बनी हुई लोग वॉक कर रहे हैं उसपे व्हाट इज़ दैट यार